<coughs> Excuse me, that was rather loud. Hello everyone, depressed McFuckface here. And yeah, I'm only saying that because I'm fucking depressed. There's an update for X Boner One. Yeah, okay, let's go ahead and start it. And it's, of course, going to take forever. Mm. Honestly, I'm hoping that this update fixes the um, well what can only be described as bullshit that made the blu-ray DVD app stop working so that's why I'm recording right now because I'm hoping that that'll get fixed with this update I don't have high hopes, I don't really have faith in anyone or anything anymore, I don't really trust anyone or anything anymore. I don't even like going out in public, I haven't liked going out in public for years and getting locked in prison for defending myself just made the whole situation even worse and now I don't want to talk about it PTSD or some sort of extreme stress or whatever I just don't want to talk about it hell there's even some certain movies that I saw while I was locked up that I just don't want to watch like Baby Driver Every time I see it, or screenshots of it, I just have imagery flash in my mind. I just don't want to be there. I don't want to remember it, and I don't want to talk about it, so I'm not going to. I wish it had never happened, honestly. So it's done downloading, or so it says. Now it's verifying. It's social anxiety now. So I, just, I don't go out unless I absolutely have to. Once a month to go and get bills paid and run and get groceries and that's about it. I, I don't want to go outside. It's so much that I don't even want to spend time around my family. Hell, I don't even want to fucking go through YouTube comments. I just don't want to deal with any social interaction of anybody anymore. Even my, some of my friends, actually all of my friends online, I just don't want to fucking talk anymore. Every time they invite me into a party or, or finally manage to get me into a, an Xbox Live party, I just sit there quietly and just don't even want to talk anymore. I 
don't even want my cats around anymore. I just, I don't want to be around anyone anymore. It's too much anxiety in it anymore. It's just too much. I don't even want to call the social security office and talk to any of them saying, hey, yeah, I've got this massive social anxiety problem. Does that qu even qualify me for an increase in how much disability I'm getting? I don't even want to do that. I really don't. I don't, I don't want to go to the office and be there in public. I don't. I just don't. Just getting all fucking shaky just just thinking about it. I don't want to do it. I don't even want to tell them to send someone over here, just one person, to fucking talk with me. I just don't want to do it. See, so it's not just depression, some sort of extreme stress disorder. Because I just don't want to be around people. There's just too much anxiety. I just don't know what to say anymore to people. I just don't want to talk to them. Right now, I'm just talking into my fucking camera phone. I don't find any more joy or any lasting happiness in anything anymore. I just really don't. It's restarting. Well, it's about halfway done then. And I purposefully just avoid bathing and doing this bit right here just to drive people away from me because I don't want to deal with them. I don't want to talk to people. I don't want to be around people. I just feel too uncomfortable. Too anxiety, too afraid. I just don't want to fucking deal with it anymore. After, after having enough time to just sit down and think about things, after being put in prison for defending myself, I just don't have any faith in anybody, I don't have any trust in anybody, I don't trust anybody. I don't want to be around anybody. I just stay away from everybody as much as possible. Because <laughs> it just causes too much anxiety. 
being in crowds just reminds me of that fucking factory warehouse that 200 some odd people were crammed into. <clears throat> I just don't want to deal with it. And it takes its toll on you physically too. Like it made my vitamin D deficiency worse because, you know, I got some multivitamins while I was in there and someone stole them. So I couldn't keep that up. So I just, you know, wasted away. Any normal person might be able to recover from it, but with a massive vitamin D deficiency and already having uh, already having a bunch of traumatic bullshit from when I was younger. From my mom being in multiple abusive relationships from having babysitters who would smash my stuff up in front of me from having literally everything stolen away from me at the so-called shelter, the so-called safe house where we're supposed to feel safe, having all of my toys at the time just stolen from me I, I don't trust anyone and that's that's a lifetime of that bullshit just year after year just consistent incessant that's the way it's been my whole life I don't trust anyone and I never fucking will this isn't something that you can fix this isn't something that counseling or therapy is going to fix. This is something that I can put up with I can put up with myself long enough to go and get my groceries once a month and spend just a couple of hours one month out of the out of the year just a couple of hours each month out in public just getting what I basically need to just exist till the next month. I can just put up with myself enough to do that because I just I don't trust people and I don't care for being around people because it's so unsettling for me on so much and the update's done <coughs> well let me see if one of these DVDs will play It looks like it's about to play. Are you about to play? I'll be fucking damned. Hey everybody. It looks like Microsoft fixed the cock up. I say it looks that way. But. I'll give it a few more days of a go and see if it actually is fixed as opposed to me just thinking it's fixed you know what fuck it honestly I'm just gonna watch this DVD actually I'm gonna pop it back in I'm actually watch it <coughs> I 
So, I, hey, everybody. From now on, just please do me a favor and talk amongst yourselves in the comments. You still got my permission to call me a fucking idiot if you like. Just, um, if you want to make your own community in my channel, go right the fuck ahead. I'm not going to stop you. I'm not going to turn off the fucking comments. But just talk amongst yourselves. Discuss whatever the fuck you want. As far as me, I'm I'm just I'm too far gone. There's no coming back from where I am at. Because a couple of days in a row, I find this happens far too often. I don't even want to get out of bed because I don't want to interact with the cats. I don't, I don't even want them around me most of the time anymore. And I've paid attention to myself enough recently to see that this is just getting worse. So, any, any social interaction is just, it's a no-go for me from now on. I just, I can't handle it. It's just too much. I've, I've, gotten to the point where it's it's just overwhelming me mentally and emotionally and psychologically to be around people man there's certain people you could probably go to the the after prison prison show uh, you keep that the YouTube channel and that guy and he can he could probably explain it to you there's some people that they don't do well in prison and when they come back if they do come back he, he might even say they're the lucky ones if they come back that when they do come back they just they can't fucking function because it's either PTSD or some severe emotional or psychological trauma or something that just fucks with the head and that's what's happened to me that's why my mood swings have been so fucking volatile because shit that happens to you from all that stress all that strain it, it is PTSD post-traumatic stress disorder it, it, that's what the fuck's happened. And I just... I, I, I can't go off and be social like I used to be. You know, for everyone who's uh, on my friends list, they go ahead and delete me if you like. I, I just... I can't be who I used to be anymore. I'm not who I used to be. As soon as I got back, someone I was talking to told me, you've changed. And yeah, I knew at the time, yeah, I've changed, but I didn't know to what extent. And you know, I'm still seeing how much it has changed me. And this is not something that I'm going to come back from. Yeah, I may have built up a some sort of uh, psychological platform for me to do recording or, or streaming, but as far as social interaction with other people, I just can't do it anymore. I just can't. I'm just too far gone. Everybody, I'm not coming back from this. This uh, emotional and psychological trauma, it's just, I'm not coming back from it. 
I might reach a point where it levels off and I stop going downhill but I'm, I'm not coming back up it's just not gonna happen <clears throat> I don't know why I thought of that just now. That thing I just thought of is just one thing that I've done that I have not seen anyone else be able to claim. I managed to make someone with Asperger's actually laugh once and that was years ago so if I, if I do keep making videos It's probably going to be really monotone and really boring because I just, I can't be who I used to be. I, I can't be upbeat or high energy when I'm just feeling just so fucking gray and dull. I don't know what else to say. I really don't. So I'm just going to end this video. If there even is a next time, then, you know, you'll see. But for now, just bye.